How's it going, Gemini? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to my channel. So it is time for uh, May 2021 Month Ahead Tarot Card Readings. And this is going to be a general tarot card reading for your sign in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the reason I say that, you guys, is because if your sun sign is not resonating, you might want to check out your moon. And there are moon sign calculators online if you don't know what that is. Um, so, like, I'm an Aries sun and a Cancer moon. So if I watch an Aries reading and I'm feeling, oh, well, you know, that one isn't really for me, I might check out my moon sign. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a general tarot card reading. For those of you that are a first time watcher, please remember to subscribe and everybody tap your notification bells, okay? Because YouTube changed the way that they push notifications out to subscribers. And I know lots of you are missing my content, okay? Um, and I do publish every Sunday, okay? I publish the, the monthly um, and then the wealth and abundance and I do a mid month and I always do a bonus. That'll be up every Sunday, and then I do daily tarot card readings every day. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to use the Tattoo Tarot deck to pull cards from, and then I'm going to clarify those cards using the Witch's Tarot. All right, so the first question we're going to ask my guides to channel through me, how will you shine this month? So, like... That's self-explanatory. You've got the Eight of Wands. So I really love this energy. Um, the Eight of Wands, it really talks about a really... This is one of those cards that has multiple meanings. So it indicates like a really um, bubbly personality or a sudden move of energy. So, um, you know, you could be changing jobs. You could be like really even moving somewhere you might even have the opportunity to travel which in our global scenario right now doesn't seem like a bad idea um i mean for me i like to take an annual trip to the beach somewhere sunny and warm because you guys hear me complain about the cold here often enough and i didn't get that this year uh unfortunately but anyway so something is gonna like really blast ahead for you quite quickly with the eight of wands um i'm also sensing for some of you that there could be a new fire sign coming in and i've actually seen this in a few of the readings that i've done so far um <clears throat> fire sign seems to be very prevalent and coming in and helping people because aries just went through you know of course birthdays and then um it was aries season so there's a new vibe to aries and they probably have energy to spare to help other people out. So let's have a clarification card on how you will shine. <laughs> so I this is like one of my favorite cards in any deck. Okay, so this is the Page of Wands. And check out this guy, how happy he is. So of course, this is going to be a fire sign as well. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But I am seeing a strong Aries influence in the other signs this month. So you could be prepared for that and some messages coming in to help you move forward. Okay, so um, you're really being asked to grab this opportunity when it comes up. And it's like, woo! So there is a brand new, almost like an ecstatic energy for you. And it could be... Uh, and Aries that brings this in but let's continue pulling cards that card just always makes my day like he's just the happiest <laughs> super stoked let's get this party started um hold on for a second I just couldn't go on with the top of my head cut off so <laughs> off with her head so uh the next question we're going to ask is what your key goals of the new month will be so it looks like you're going to be having a fantastic time with the new adventure tied to uh, a fire sign that'll be super fun especially if you're single you might be meeting a fire sign um, and they will be everything that you ever dreamed of and more quite a handful so <sighs> your key goal of the month so we have the knight of cups so this is really again like an energy of love and peace and contentedness and is that even a word and also could relate to romance you know 
let's clarify that because all I'm getting is like the basics. I'm just seeing bullet points, eh? My my team in spirit, they're like, okay, just dot, dot, dot. And then that, that's not quite enough. So let's uh, bring them in a little bit further with a witch's tarot card for you. Oh, the magician card. Okay, so I really see this as being like where you need to love your life a little bit more. You know, and this is where this uh, fire sign could come in a little bit for you. They could really um, enhance your mood, you know, uh, make you see the bright side of things. Um, the magician is all about creating the scenario that you want to see. And the Knight of Cups is about doing things from a heart-centered uh, decision-making, right? So this is something to really focus on. What is the energy that you're putting out into the world? And <clears throat> what would you like to see come back to you? Because your emotions are a boomerang. They're just going to come back with in different people, right? So something to focus on this month is making your magic work. Definitely with the Magician card because you guys are creating along with the spirit or your God universe or source, like whatever it is that you're calling it out there. You know, I support you all. <clears throat> and the Knight of Cups, just doing everything with love, you know, and recognizing that everything is beautiful, even if it's not, you know. So, and that could be really daunting to see things that way, you know, just when I'm walking um, my dog and like, is your city like that where you guys live? It's just, um, <clears throat> it's like people don't know how to use a garbage can, you know, but it's really difficult to find beauty in certain situations. So that could be a real challenge for you. But again, your new fire sign friend is going to help kick things up a notch. And where to find support? Oh, you guys are just going to be surrounded by the love of... I'm seeing Aries, but again, it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. And this person is coming in in divine and perfect timing. Hold on, guys. So, I've got the Knight of Wands here. And... Look really closely at his hands, you know? It, it signifies that there is a ship coming in. So it's like this person is basically heaven sent to help you get to the next level of your life. Let's clarify this card out for you. And we've got the justice card. So if there's something in your life that you're feeling, like when is this going to happen for me, you know? When is that deal going to get signed? When is anything going to happen you know the justice it really talks about that decision being made for you in your favor and the fire sign that is being sent your way they're going to help keep you super positive and maybe help you collaborate with strategies or looking at things in a different way you know hey have you tried doing this or contacting that person or i actually know somebody maybe i'll give them a shout and sort of you know, grease the wheels to get things moving for you a little bit. Um, also with this thing that I was saying about creating um, with the Magician card and using love here, you'll notice that this particular Knight of Wands has his third eye open. This is the, the pineal gland. And this helps you to visualize things so that you can attract them into your life. So this could definitely be with the Knight of Wands a new spiritual advisor or guru for you and they can help bring things into you faster like if you're really not sure of that concept i really invite you to take a look like do a google search and see who the master manif ma master manifestors of the world are like self-proclaimed master manifestors and they'll talk about how they got there you know and they always talk about their vibration being high or just, you know, putting a lot of emotion into things. So with this Eight of Wands, you are seeing a shift in the landscape of how you're looking at things. You're like, oh, okay, I can, I can really love that, you know, or I can really love myself or I can love another person again. Uh, I'm seeing lots of love coming in for a lot of the signs this month uh definitely like super joyful 
Page of Wands energy, brand new creations with the Magician card, you know, and the symbol of infinity. The Justice card is really beautiful. It's saying that, you know, things have already been written in your favor, so just don't lose faith. You know, um, keep your vibration high with the Eight of Wands. Try not to be in a bad mood with the Knight of Cups, even though sometimes it's impossible. And just know that you have an Aries person in your soul family coming in to kick the door down of your life and go, hey, how can I help you? You know what I mean? So things should really skyrocket for you quite shortly. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce and I'll see you back here next time. Bye.